Uh, hello, everyone. Just a quick check-in uh, video for week four of the course. Um, you know, I think I've, I've kind of hyped the Jonas essay already. If you've been paying attention, you have noticed me mentioning it here and there as a sort of turning point in the course, and, and it is. I don't want to make too much of it, but uh, it is an important week for us reading uh, Jonas's Technology and Responsibility. I think it's called Technology and Responsibility, the New Tasks of Ethics. Um, that being said, it will continue to be more or less the same course. This is an applied ethics course. It's not a course in ethical theory. It's a course uh, looking at ethical issues that have to do with a particular area, in this case, computer ethics or ethics in, of digital technology or that sort of thing. But the course won't really change. It's just, you know, we will continue mostly to look at particular uh, ethical issues. Um, and from the beginning, I've asked you to look at these ethical issues somewhat, or just like taking into account uh, Kantianism and utilitarianism. I think the only thing that will really change, well, let's say two things will change. Uh, one thing is that instead of asking you to look at issues, uh, taking into account Kantianism, utilitarianism, uh, you'll now need to include the Jonas thesis in that. So look at these ethical issues, keeping in mind Kantianism, utilitarianism, and the Jonas thesis uh, about his, the, the, the effects on ethics of modern technology, and especially digital technology. So that's a, that's a change. Um, and uh, I would say a fairly big change because, as you'll see, reading Jonas, one of Jonas's big ideas is that because of the power of modern technology, that we have burst the bounds of previous ethical theories and that we need to come up with new ethical theories to actually deal with uh, the effects of modern technology. Uh, the other slight change is just in the character of the issues that we'll be dealing with for the rest of the semester. Uh, the singularity, uh, the whole issue of digital surveillance and uh, effects of social media. Uh, I'll tell you why. I just think these are bigger issues than what we've been dealing with. The Facebook experiment and autopilot even are fairly manageable issues where if we jump to something like the singularity and I would say the effects of digital surveillance too, uh, those were chosen with the Jonas thesis in mind. That is, I, I purposely started out in this course with a couple of issues, which were interesting issues and important issues in computer ethics, but manageable. We're talking about, an experiment, a social experiment that uh, that Facebook conducted. We're talking about self-driving cars. And these are big and important issues, especially autopilot. But compared to the singularity, they're, they're fairly small issues. The singularity, as you'll see, is a kind of just the kind of thing that maybe would make sense to read in conjunction with the Jonas thesis, just because it is maybe the ultimate example of a, uh, an effect of human technology on human life, which will be both deep-seated and permanent, uh, just the kind of thing that he was warning us against. Now, of course, the singularity is very controversial insofar as some people think it's nonsense, whether the people take it very seriously. And of course, that always needs to be I think, said. But I would say digital surveillance is a real thing that's happening right now and is not science fiction. The incredible uh, leap of power of um, the capacity for governments and other actors to surveil uh, communities has just been a giant leap um, and one that we will be dealing with forever, I would say. Uh, another real Jonas type issue. And I would say the effects of social media. 
um, which in a way, the way that I'm casting it is related to surveillance because we'll end the course with this notion of intervalence. And if any of you are familiar with the Black Mirror episode Nosedive, um, we're going to get into that territory. We're going to watch that and discuss it. Or I'm going to ask you to watch that at the end of the course and discuss it. So just saying, you know, we are, it is a kind of a turning point in the course, um, but it's not as if we're doing anything different. It's just that we, we need to take into account a third, not itself a moral theory, but a third essay, a big idea in moral theory, in addition to utilitarianism and Kantianism. And also the issues themselves get bigger. They may not get, again, in terms of the singularity, you know, it may be, some would say, not something that's worth talking about, but at least in terms of the singularity itself, how it's described by its by its adherents or people who adhere to the belief that it's something that we that, that is a possibility, something that is really, really big issue. So I'd say that would be the only way, the only ways in which the course really does change at this point.